agents of change. Economist, political scientist, feminist, educator, pacifist, a woman. Rosa Luxemburg was an active participant of the political life of Poland and was through her studies in Switzerland that she finally landed as one of the leaders of the socialist movement in Germany in the turn of 19th and 20th century. Luxemburg's political view believed in inner work of the individual in order to create a needed change. Self-education, self-enlightenment and self-organizing, where everyone is developing self-consciousness and awareness of the world's problems and seeks solutions for them. The base of free society is the fundamental connection between democracy and socialism, where ordinary people directly engage in a life's struggles, distribute solutions and hold power at all times. Separation of one from the other can cause a totalitarian regime or an elite ruled state. Freedom is exercise democracy. Society is never-ending transformation, which was her definition of revolution. Action of change or adjustment in society is in the hands of the masses and bottom-level initiative of people. Being a woman, Rosa Luxemburg had encountered many obstacles, such as not being invited as an equal partner to negotiations of social construct, or as facing limitations regarding her formal education. This didn't stop Luxemburg, but instead motivated her to join the feminist movement to knock down the wall of patriarchy. Historically, we know that she was a part of the first wave of feminism, which mainly concentrated on the rights of vote to, of upper-class women. This wasn't enough for her, as she believed that gender equality and sexual liberation is connected with economic justice. It was important to acknowledge classism among women and to search for solution in the never-ending self-correction process for equality. As an economist, she was examining the connection between colonialism and capitalism, whose goal is to deal with overproduction and underconsumption by seeking new markets around the world. The consequences of such an economical model causes wars, destructions of nature, and the engagement of working class people in a fight that isn't their battle in the first place, but the businesses of the elite's leaders. She concluded that working class people, who were usually desperate for money and promised a great life by joining the army, had more in common with people who were directly fighting on the front line than with their own leaders. To educate people is to show them the sources of destabilization and greed. In order to transform and build a world where polarity of opinion matters, where friction is part of the conversation and where differences are not to be abused but to be embraced. In the words of Rosa Luxemburg, Najbardziej rewolucyjną rzeczą, jaką można zrobić, jest głośne ogłaszanie tego, co się dzieje. The most revolutionary thing one can do is always to proclaim loudly what is happening. This is Anna Weder from Bydgoszcz Poland for the Agents of Change podcast. For the world goes to where we take it.